9. Self-Steering Bullets There are a lot of variables when it comes to taking the perfect shot. However, new technology being developed for the US military by Teledyne Technologies and Orbital ATK could change this. The companies are working on something called the Exacto Project, which aims to create 50 caliber rounds that are capable of correcting their course, allowing them to self-steer in order to carry out precise shots on a target. But how does this work? The target is marked by a laser, which the bullet detects using an optical sensor. It's able to correct its movements in flight by taking into account changes in the wind and weather. And it does this by using tiny fins to adjust its course. The bullet can change its course so quickly that it's capable of making up to 30 adjustments per second, which is pretty impressive. This is because, unlike normal bullets that spin in the air, the self-steering bullets fly straight like a dart. Those working on the Exacto project hope that these higher accuracy bullets will assist ground troops with their marksmanship, ultimately leading to fewer civilian casualties as a result of war. The bullets also work best at longer distances of around 1.2 miles, meaning the troops can engage with pinpoint accuracy from far away to help ensure their safety as well. 8. Athena Athena stands for Advanced Test High Energy Asset. Developed by Lockheed Martin for the United States, it's essentially a huge laser cannon. The 30 kilowatt laser weapon system utilizes the Aladdin laser, which is short for Accelerated Laser Demonstration Initiative. What makes Aladdin unique is that it actually combines the power of three separate 10 kilowatt fiber lasers into one super powerful 30 kilowatt laser beam. This clever setup allows Athena to be quite versatile in its operation. If the situation calls for it, it can adjust its power level and operate at lower settings like 10 or 20 kilowatts. Amazingly, 30 kilowatts of laser power is potent enough to deal significant damage to drones, causing them to plummet from the sky. The structural damage it inflicts makes those drones completely lose their ability to stay airborne. But why would the US Air Force want a laser gun that targets drones rather than larger weapons like aircraft? The answer lies in the fact that in modern warfare, drones are actually incredibly dangerous and can pose a risk to key assets and weapons. For example, a drone carrying a grenade can easily take out much larger aspects, including vehicles and aircraft. Although mainly used for taking down drones at a longer range, Athena is also capable of taking out larger targets at close range, such as trucks and small boats. And as this technology continues to be developed and the lasers become more powerful, who knows what laser cannons of the future will be able to destroy. 7. High Mems You might not look at a bug and think that they're a critical military asset. But thanks to a DARPA program for the US military, they could be some of the soldiers of the future. These aren't just regular bugs, though. They're referred to as HIMEMS, which stands for Hybrid Insect Microelectromechanical Systems. These bugs are embedded with electrical circuitry as larvae, basically turning them into cyborgs that can be controlled for a variety of purposes. One proposed application of the HIMEMS, or cybugs as they're affectionately known, is to fit them with chemical sensors that would allow them to detect explosives hidden in caves or tunnels. Alternatively, flying bugs could be used as reconnaissance units to figure out if potentially dangerous buildings or areas are occupied without arousing suspicion. One of the biggest challenges that DARPA researchers have faced on this project has been balancing the fragility of beetles with the electrical power needed in order to operate the mechanized aspects of the critters. For a time, battery packs were simply too heavy for the beetles to be able to move, let alone fly. But they were able to combat this by attaching piezoelectric generators to the beetles' wings. This allows them to use a smaller battery pack that can be recharged by the energy produced by the insect's wings. During demonstrations, thanks to probes attached to the brains and wings of the beetles, they were able to perform precise turns and maneuvers that were programmed by scientists. It's unknown whether these cybunks have been used in the field yet, but who knows, maybe that fly on your wall is actually a mechanized soldier. 6. Talos Taking inspiration from superheroes such as Iron Man, the Talos suit was engineered to provide infantry with super-powered armor to aid them in combat. 
The Talos program, which stands for Tactical Assault Light Operator Suit, was designed to provide much-needed information and physical support. Users were able to stream in data from drones, sensors, and reconnaissance aircraft, and they were also given enhanced visuals of their surroundings. The Talos suit would help bear the weight of the equipment that soldiers would need to carry on the battlefield. In addition to their standard weaponry and ammunition, soldiers often find themselves burdened with another load of 60 to 70 pounds, comprising various gear and personal protective equipment. And so, the Talos suit was created to revolutionize the way soldiers carry their loads. Through the integration of lightweight armor plating into the exoskeleton's chassis, coupled with force-multiplying motors, the Talos suit holds the potential to allow wearers to carry significantly heavier loads without experiencing physical strain. This innovative technology provides soldiers with enhanced endurance and operational capabilities, alleviating the burdens associated with heavy equipment during critical missions. Although the technology has been shelved for the moment, it's highly likely that it will come back in the future, and perhaps it will be even more advanced than before. 5. Active Denial System did you know that the American military has a weapon that's capable of causing pain without even leaving a mark on your body? The Active Denial System, or ADS for short, is also known as the Goodbye Weapon due to its capability to disperse crowds of people without using lethal force. The way that it works is by emitting a beam of millimeter waves, which have a longer wavelength than X-rays but are shorter than microwaves. More specifically, it operates at 94 gigahertz, which is equivalent to a wavelength of 3 millimeters, in comparison to the 2.45 gigahertz frequency used in a standard microwave oven. This frequency allows the ADS to be able to penetrate the top layer of the skin, heating it up rapidly to cause pain. And in most people subjected to the active denial system, their pain threshold maxed out after just 3 seconds of exposure to the weapon and none of the unlucky test subjects could last longer than 5 seconds. One of the key selling points of the ADS is the fact that it doesn't have any lasting effects on the body, even though it does cause immense pain. Despite the burning sensation it causes though, no marks are left on the skin at all. Although it was revealed in 2001, there haven't been many uses of the ADS since. The reason for this lies in the fact that it's a non-lethal weapon by design. While new guns and other lethal weapons are relatively easy to get clearance for military use, non-lethal weapons have to go through extensive testing to ensure they truly aren't dangerous. They have to be certain that there's no possibility of them being misused in order to cause death or long-lasting harm. There are many different ways in which the active denial system can be set up. For example, the operational prototype called System 1 is mounted to an armored vehicle. But there are also tripod versions and smaller, more portable ADS devices. However, it doesn't stop there, as there have also been attempts to strap it to airborne vehicles as well. How long do you think you'd last if you were subjected to the active denial system? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button while you're at it. 4. Mars the modular advanced armed robotic system, Mars, was developed by Kinetic for the United States military. With an appearance like a miniature tank, Mars is an unarmed ground vehicle, UGV, that specializes in reconnaissance, surveillance, and target acquisition. That's not to say that Mars can't also fight alongside its human comrades. The Mars boasts an M240B machine gun, and not just one, but four M203 grenade launchers. In essence, it provides troops with a tactical partner on the ground, ready to handle tough situations without putting any human operators at risk. A great example of Mars in action is by putting it in hard-to-reach areas where human soldiers would be unable to monitor their security, keeping them at a safe distance from enemy fire. With a battery life of between 3 and 12 hours and the ability to be on standby for over a week, Mars is ready to accompany soldiers on their missions, just like a small mechanized guard dog. Even when it's left to patrol a base, sensors and AI technology can help it detect threats and act accordingly to alert others or to neutralize them. And who knows, maybe one day all wars will be fought with them instead. 3. Thunder Generator 
The Thunder Generator is a cannon-like device designed to emit harmless shockwaves that pass through people and objects. While the shockwaves themselves pose no threat, the concept behind this invention is that they create a powerful psychological effect, giving individuals the sensation of facing a firing squad. Originally, the Thunder Generator found its roots in Israel, where farmers utilized it to protect their crops by scaring away birds. However, the potential of this technology caught the attention of Israel's Ministry of Defense, and they granted a license to the Israeli technology company Armitech to develop military and paramilitary versions of the Thunder Generator. The Thunder Generator works by mixing gas from a cylinder of domestic liquid petroleum LPG, with air to initiate a controlled detonation, and the result is a sequence of high-intensity blasts. As the fuel travels through the cannon barrel, the detonations progressively intensify until they exit the device, producing a rapid-fire series of high-velocity shock bursts. The beauty of this system lies in its adaptability. Engineers can calibrate and program the shock bursts for different purposes, allowing for versatility in their applications. This pulse detonation technology empowers the system to generate an impressive 60 to 100 bursts per minute. And each burst travels at approximately 6,562 feet per second, all while lasting up to 300 milliseconds. The combination of extreme air pressure and the sonic boom effect delivers a double deterrent to those facing the device, making it highly effective in deterring rioters and intruders. Although it's meant to be a non-lethal weapon, the Thunder Generator needs to be used at a safe distance from the intended targets. Anyone within 33 feet of this device, including its operator, would suffer permanent damage to their bodies and potentially die from the force of the blasts. The Thunder Generator's unique combination of harmless shockwaves and psychological impact makes it an intriguing innovation with potentially significant implications for various operational and security scenarios. So, it's crazy to think that it had its origins in a farmer's field. 2. Phaser The Phaser sounds like something out of Star Trek, but believe it or not, it's actually a weapon that the United States developed. Phaser, which stands for Personal Halting and Stimulation Response, was a handheld laser gun that would stun enemy troops by temporarily blinding them. The Phaser was developed at Kirtland Air Force Base in New Mexico, with the goal of being completed by 2006. The project has dual purposes, catering to military needs and eventually finding applications in law enforcement. At first glance, the Phaser seemed promising as a less harmful solution for disabling potential threats. However, there's a significant twist to the story. Using the phaser actually went against a treaty proposed by the United Nations. This treaty, outlined in the 1980 Convention on the Use of Certain Conventional Weapons and later amended in 1995 to encompass blinding weapons, banned armaments such as the phaser from being used. And as a result, the development of the phaser came to a halt. The United States decided to abide by the guidelines set forth by the Geneva Convention concerning the use of laser weapons in 2009. So, as far as we know, the phaser has never been mass-produced or used in combat. 1. Dread The Dread weapon system is the brainchild of weapons designer and inventor Charles St. George. Dread is an electrically powered centrifuge weapon, which is also known as a centrifugal weapon or centrifuge gun. Instead of using regular cartridges with gunpowder, the Dread Zammer is made up of 308 and 50 caliber metal balls. When the trigger's pulled, those metal balls get spun out of the weapon at super high speeds of around 8,000 feet per second. And these balls hit their target with overwhelming and devastating firepower, making a serious impact. With typical guns, the bullets hit the target at intervals of around 180 feet, but Dread is on a whole new level. Its rounds arrive only 30 thousandths of an inch apart, which means there's far more mass hitting the target in less time than ever before. You might be thinking that a gun capable of launching bullets at such speed and force would have some serious recoil, but Dread doesn't suffer from this at all. And on top of that, it's apparently impossible to jam. 
The speed at which Dread is able to shoot means it's capable of firing between 5,000 and 12,000 rounds per minute. Even the most armored of vehicles will struggle to withstand such an onslaught, and they may not even hear it coming. The Dread system is powered by electricity rather than utilizing gunpowder, so the only thing you'll be able to hear is the supersonic boom when the weapon breaks the sound barrier. This makes it much harder to pinpoint where the gunfire comes from, meaning that targets can be taken down before they've even been able to figure out the source of the attack. Even if enemy troops were to use infrared sensors to determine where the gun is, this wouldn't work either. Dread is heatless and frictionless, so it won't show up on radar scans because it doesn't produce any heat or flash signature. Even if you get lucky and figure out the vehicle that Dread is mounted onto, you'll have a hard time getting rid of it. As Dread doesn't use any propellant, the only chance you've got of taking it out is to ignite the gas tank of the truck. Dread operates on centrifugal force to determine the velocity of its rounds, but this can also be adjusted in a way that can make it non-lethal. This would allow the same technology to be used in a crowd control situation, and then be rolled out onto the battlefield with the flip of a switch. Which one of these advanced pieces of military tech did you find to be the most fascinating? Let us know down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.